Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Ocean's Eleven. Hey guys, just popping on here to let y'all know that if you've ever been interested in getting any merch, for me, now would likely be a good time. Crowdmade, which is the host of my merch store, is having a 15% off site-wide sale from November 20th through November 27th. They're also offering a program from the 24th through the 27th where you can earn gift certificates with each amount that you spend. So if you are looking for some gifts for this holiday season, this would be a great way to save. All right. Back to the video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into a movie that has been on my list for a while, one that I've kind of forgotten about a lot that I haven't seen any films from this series, and that is Ocean's Eleven. I included this on a poll over on my Patreon page. For those of y'all that don't know, I do have a Patreon page. I always link it in the description bar below. You can get access to my full-length watch-along style reactions over there, as well as polls to help me decide what I watch next. I did include this movie in a pretty fun, cool poll. Um, there were a lot of great movie choices in this poll. I really did not expect Ocean's Eleven to win. I don't know much about this movie at all, quite frankly. And this one swept, this one won and I was pretty surprised. So I'm pretty excited because a lot of people seem pretty amped for me to check this one out. And when I went to go rent it on Amazon Prime, I have noticed that the cast is absolutely freaking stacked. I knew that Matt Damon was in this movie. That was pretty much all I knew. I had no idea Brad Pitt was in this movie. I love Brad Pitt. <laughs> I love him so much. I'm so excited now. I'm just such a fan of him, man. Like, I mean, who isn't really? How could you not be? But like every time Brad is in a movie, I'm just like, it's better. It's just so, I just, I get so excited. I just do. I'm such a fangirl of Brad Pitt. And some other really great actors too. I mean, we got George Clooney, Sandra Bullock, Julia Roberts, Don Cheadle. I mean, I'm just excited. I feel like this is gonna be a fun time. I love all of these actors and I just can't wait to see more work from them. I feel like I haven't seen Sandra Bullock in a movie in such a long time. Like I just haven't, I feel like I haven't seen a movie of her since like Miss Congeniality, but that's just up to me. Like she's been in plenty of stuff. I actually don't even think I've seen a lot of George Clooney's work now that I think about it. So I'm really excited. I think today is gonna be a lot of fun. And despite this movie having been out for so long and being a part of this like franchise at this point where there's all these different Oceans movies, I have no idea what Oceans 11 means. I don't know if the 11 stands for like 11 people or 11 things or 11 places. I don't even know what ocean means in this context. I just know of, you know, the ocean, like it, like the Atlantic. I don't know <laughs> what the title of this movie means. So I'm very excited to finally watch it. Even Tyler was kind of shocked that I hadn't seen this one. And I was just like, no, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know. It, there's just a lot of random movies that I've just not seen. And a lot of random ones that I have, like, there are times when Tyler almost doesn't believe me when I tell him that I have seen something. He's like, no, you're probably just imagining that you've seen it. And I'm like, no, I think I have watched that one. He's just, at this point, he's so conditioned to me not having watched a bunch of stuff. So this kind of surprised him though, which I thought was funny. I'm like, Does, should I have seen this? Like, I, I don't know. So that's all I really have to say for this intro. I just keep saying how excited I am because I really just want to dive on into this one and have fun with y'all. So without any further ado, I think it's finally time to grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Ocean's Eleven. So we're starting off in prison. So somebody was arrested for this crime, huh? Is it gonna be like a narrative? Oh, hey, George. Daniel Ocean. Ocean! He's Mr. Ocean. My wife left me. I was upset. I got into a self-destructive pattern. If released, is it likely you'd fall back into a similar pattern? She already left me once. I don't think she'd do it again just for kicks. <laughs> what do you think you would do if released? Oh, is he, is he getting released right now? Are we gonna see what he does when he gets released? He's gonna go right back to crime, huh? They're silly enough to let him out. These are the clothes he was arrested in, a tuxedo, of course. Oh, and his wedding ring too, F That's crazy. I wonder who his ex is, Julia Roberts? North Jersey, of course he was imprisoned in Jersey. I don't know why, I just feel like that makes sense. Officer Brooks, this is Danny Ocean. I was told to contact you within 24 hours. No, sir, I haven't been getting any trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not yet. I wouldn't even think about leaving the state. He's already gonna, he's gonna leave. Brad! 
Is Brad the one teaching celebrities how to play cards? In Hollywood. I heard this recently, and I didn't know this before, but I heard recently that Brad is always eating in movies and he he's like the best food actor ever. And now I'm like, wait, now I can't unsee it. And it's so true. <laughs> well, okay, if you're not, you should really think about it. Cause I was talking to my manager last night. Topher Grace is in this movie too. <laughs> Anyway, he was telling me that because of what we do can be considered like research for like a future gig or whatever. It's a tax write-off. make it a tax write-off. Mm -hmm. one... Actors love to write off things for taxes because we don't make any money. <laughs> let's, or we could just stick to cash. Yeah, let's, <clears throat> yeah, let's just stick to cash. Tover does such a great job of playing like the likable yet also unlikable idiot, you know, in a movie who's like kind of witty, but also puts his foot in his mouth. Like he does a great job with that type of role. <laughs> Sure, what four nines does, but the ace I think is pretty high. Dude, thanks for the tip on calling out the bluff. Wow. I, I so I don't I don't know how to play poker, but I think that's good. Guns? Not exactly. A lot of security, but the take. And he does not waste time getting right back into the game. Oh, sharp transition there. Oh, the Bellagio. The Bellagio. Whose office is this that we are in now? These feet into the cages at the Mirage. The MGM Grand, but every diamond's up there. They share a vault. These are Terry Benedict's places. Yes, they are. Mm, why are we robbing this man? Ruben. Hey. Jeez, Oscar, lower it a bit, would you? You guys done up here? Find what you want? I'm just gonna take these home for the night and make some copies if it's all right. Whatever you need. What? Appreciate it. What? Oscar, are you not doing your job very well? Who works here? Why Why did they just get into this building and get the blueprints? Just because Oscar owes him a favor or likes him or? I wonder what Ruben will say. Are we gonna transition to Ruben from the elevator? I know more about casino security than any man alive. I invented it. I didn't know this guy was in this movie either. I love it. <laughs> the Jewish star of David Bling. I love it. It's at the racetrack. Man, this guy looks retired. Leave him be. He just wants to peel his orange in peace at the racetrack. So you're going to tell me? Or should I just say no and get it over with? It's all you the best there is. I could tell he doesn't want to do it. I know he was. He's like, I'm f***ing retired. Leave me be. I got a duplex now. Yeah. I got wall to wall and a goldfish. A goldfish. He's got a goldfish to take care of. They employ an in-house technician? Two. And one of them is lonely. <laughs> Oh, we imp we got her to swipe the card. Idiot for wearing your uniform there. Try it to your mom for me. Say it yourself. She'll be on stage in five minutes. Oh, it runs in the family. Is he gonna go in? No, he's not. What is with the balloons? Oh my God. Whoa, I actually kind of like what they're doing here with the transitioning of the constant fading and blurring. It feels very trippy with the casino lights. We gone friend, jackass. Don't call me a jackass. I just Oh, to cover the camera. Smart, smart. Copy that, I see them. That's actually a great way to, to do that. Although still risky, like the balloons might not land totally covering the camera. Ah. Well, thanks. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, oh no. Is he gonna notice immediately what's wrong? Hey, hold up a minute. Oh no. Hey, drop this. Oh, thank you. How's reception on those things? Excellent. Excellent. Oh, okay. He's not, he's not smooth, man. He's not cool. Oh God, he's so stressed. It worked out well though. Wait, wait, wait. All I get to do is watch the guy? You gotta walk before you can crawl. First then. You gotta walk before you can crawl. <laughs> uh, I am sorry, but uh, eighteen five a piece is the best offer that I can make. What are they doing? They're trying to break it. Billy Tim Denim. Yes, denim like a jean. Yes, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> just like the jean. <laughs> is he holding his hands so hard? Now my sister, she uses a um, uh, uh, aloe vera. With a little sunscreen in it, uh, yes. Uh, and ideally, he's like, "Please let go of my hand." Uh, let me tell you something. Mm. If you were willing to pay cash, yeah, I might be able to drop that down to say seven, uh, sixteen each. We're forcing, we're strong arming him by just squeezing his hand. They told me to come see you. Oh, did they? Well, I'm sure glad they did. <laughs> they, did that's what they told me. Okay. So well. glad. Oh God, the poor guy's hand. He was threatening him while complimenting his hands. <laughs> my name is. Lyman, 
Zerga. My name is Lyman Zerga. Oh, so he's he's a little actor, huh? My name is Lyman Zerga. Oh, yeah. Oh, I believe it. These two Mormon twins are just fitting into so many different fun little roles. Okay, tell me about Benedict. Dude, if I worked security at this casino, I feel like I would notice these same suspicious people coming in every day, like Matt Damon and Brad Pitt, because they're not disguised ever, but maybe there's just too many people, so it's not plausible that they would notice. He's out by 7.30 when an assistant hands him a black portfolio. Thank you, Doc. Contents, the day's take, and new security codes. Then he heads to the restaurant. Like I said, a machine. I... I'm calling something as it's just a thought. What if this Benedict guy is with Daniel's ex-wife? Because that would be a great motive. Now what? He's eating again. <laughs> oh, here she is. Which one? Sandra or Julia? Probably Julia. Yep. Still don't know if we can use her yet. Actually, I haven't even caught her name. Oh, Tess. He, he knows. Is it the ex? It's the ex. Her name is Tess. Uh-huh. He knows. It's Daniel's ex, huh? Is that the motive for robbing him? I called it. I called it. I'm sure I'm right. It just feels right, you know? Tell me this is not about her. Oh, I am walking. I am walking off this job right Ooh. now. Don't play dumb, Daniel. Tell me this is not about screwing the guy who's screwing your wife. Ex-wife. Tell me. It's not about that. It is about that. It's absolutely about that. Not entirely about that. It's, yeah. <laughs> Which means it's entirely about that. Oh, is she getting, is she waiting for him? Is he 30 late? 30 seconds late, I was about to send out, sir. Oh, 30 seconds. Oh no, it's him, it's George. Ah! It's Daniel, I mean, sorry. I'm out. You're out. The prison. Wow, this is bold too. How you doing? Whiskey and whiskey. He's ordering a drink. The audacity. You know what your problem is? I only have one. You've met too many people like you. <laughs> He's not even phased by her attitude. I'm with Terry now. Does he make you laugh? Oh, now he got, he got phased there. No, he doesn't. I don't think he does. He doesn't make me cry. But he doesn't make you laugh. What would you guys rather have? Someone who makes, like, you feel the highs and the lows with or somebody who maybe doesn't make you feel those highs but doesn't hurt you? I'd rather not have to choose, but I gotta have laughter, man. I gotta have fun and have a best friend. I know what I'm doing. What are you doing? Uh-oh, he's here. Oh, no. Terry, meet my ex-husband. Danny Ocean. Mr. Ocean? I'm in your seat. This is bad. This is bad. I didn't, I didn't want them to see each other. I didn't want Benedict to see him here. This is so bold of Danny to even show his face in front of Benedict when Benedict could find out in two seconds that he's not supposed to be out of New Jersey. Good to see you, Tess. Take care, Danny. Terry. Danny. The tension. Ugh. I feel like that was so dumb to show your face in front of him. But Tess might have told him anyway. Okay. It puts you in the middle of the room, 10 feet from everything. You have to get from there to the door without touching the floor. The floor is lava. Oh, it's a little simulator. This is cool. I was going to say, how did he get in there? But it's because it's a simulation. Ooh, how did you not break your tailbone? You boys have a nice trip. Eating again. He's just, <laughs> I can't unsee it now. We have a problem. Oh, no. You've been red flagged. It means the moment you set foot in that casino floor, they'll be watching you. Mm-hmm because you showed that you were here to Benedict, asshole. You were cocky. Turn it off when I'm ready to turn so. it off. He's, <laughs> he's a method actor. He stays in character. Turn it off when I'm ready. I do what I want. Zerg does what he wants. You're out, Danny. He's out? It's either that or we call the whole thing off. His involvement puts us all at risk. True, it does. Oh, you made it my call. You did, I agree. Wait, wait, wait. He can't just be out. Who's going to trigger the vault? Kid, you up for it? I think he is. I think he can do it. I can do it. Done. Curtain goes up at seven. Oh, he's so mad. But listen, you did it to yourself, Danny. I think Danny should go out on the casino floor when the job is happening and just not participate in it at all and just be a distraction because everyone will be watching him because Benedict red flagged him. And for God's sake, whatever you do, don't under any circumstance. Russ. Yeah. Can you take a look at this? Wait, don't under any circumstance. What? <laughs> you can't do that. That's so f***ed up. Got him. Why right, done? Mr. Benedict. Hi, Sheldon Willis. Nevada Gaming Commission. I'm afraid I need two minutes of your time. Come on, Linus. You got this. 
He's pissed that, that although that couldn't have been him anyway. Oh yeah, now he can focus on Tess. Come here. Go on, Tess, come here. Hey. You are up to something, Danny. What? She is asking you to leave her alone, man. You won't win me back. Tess, I just came to say goodbye. Ooh. The romantic music came in at just the right moment there. <laughs> you be good. Oh, sh man. God damn. That's so tough. Like, I, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know how. Like, if George Clooney did that to me, like, I straight up. Mr. Benedict would like to see. Oh, I bet he would. I bet he would. I just couldn't, like... I'd be so flustered. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> oh God. Like, I know he's a thief and a liar, but I still, I'm like, oh, I'd still pick him over Benedict, man. No cameras in this room. Huh? Oh, are they going to beat him up? Don't want anybody seeing what goes on in here. He's not coming, is he? Oh, no, he's not coming. <laughs> oh, he is? No, oh, God. Oh, God, it's a big man in a leather fur vest and a biker T-shirt. Oh, no. They're going to beat the sh out of him. Oh, God, Danny. This is why I thought it was so bad of you to show your face to Benedict. He doesn't play by the rules, man. He plays dirty. Ah! Ah! Not until later. Sorry, Danny. I, I forgot. It's all right. Oh, I was wondering why he punched him and then he and then he felt bad immediately. How's your wife? Pregnant again. Oh my God, <laughs> Daddy! He's friends with everybody. This is great. Come on, get up, get up. <laughs> Had enough yet? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing so well. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, the power is gonna go out here. I didn't even think about that. Oh, wow. Yeah, this had to be so f expensive to shoot, man. Nice job! Oh, that's gonna cause a panic. Honestly, I'd hate to be in a stadium like that with the power going out. I'd be worried about stampedes and, and people panicking. Go. Quick, 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 quick. No way. No way. How? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, you're not gonna be able to... Oh, you guys are f***ing lucky. You guys are f***ing lucky. Oh, God, it's chaos in the ring. It's chaos. Oh, my God, stop. Just stop. Oh, people are trying to rob. Man, the lights go out for 30 seconds and everybody just turns into, into animals, man. Oh, Yen. Yen, you genius. Oh, okay. His job is very stressful to me. Like, whose job would I really want to have in this experience? I feel like I would just want to be Frank, aka Ramon, the guy, like, who just is a distraction and gets to act a little bit and then get fired. Like, I think I'd want to be him. What the you bet. Oh, he speaks English when he wants to, <laughs> when he's stressed. <laughs> oh my God, how are we gonna, uh, now this is the hard part. He's calling Benedict. Oh no, he's calling Tess. I don't have a cell phone. Oh, oh. Wait, she does? Why does she have a cell She, <laughs> she's like, wait, I don't have a cell phone. Oh, it, what the heck? That's mysterious as Who the hell is this? The man who's robbing you. We're telling him? Why are we telling him? I don't understand. Why is this part of it? Find out how much money we have down there. Yes, sir. Oh, she knows who it is. She knows it's Danny. She knows. Oh, she knows he planted the phone on her too. That's what I was thinking. I wonder if she's going to tell him. It would be better if you weren't around here for this. Ooh. He didn't even think to ask her, hey, like... Do you know anything, babe? He's just like, just get out of here, babe. You're just like my pretty trophy thing. Do you believe I'm gonna allow you to parade bags full of my money out my casino door? No, you're gonna carry it out for us. Why are we doing this? Why are we telling him? What's going on? Why are we being so bold? 
We're only packing up about half that. The other half we're leaving in your vault, booby-trapped as a hostage. You let our 80 million go, and you get to keep yours. That's fake. They want to take all of it. Wow, they're gone. Okay, so there's still like a good 20 minutes left of this movie, and they got away with the money. And I want my vault back before that van hits the tarmac. Uh-oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, it can't be that easy. The, I'm sure all the money's gone. I'm sure this is all fake, like, footage that they've made beforehand. Like, there aren't any people in the vault. I bet all the money is gone. Wait a minute. Guys, guys, someone's here, someone's here! Take him down, now! I got him! We're shooting. What's going on? There's no one in there, I bet. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't know how they're gonna get away at this point. Like, they're totally surrounded. Get out of the van now! Now! This has gotta be like a fake van, like a fake... I don't know how they're gonna do this. What if this van has been remotely piloted and nobody is driving it? <laughs> yeah, it was remote piloted! <laughs> There's nobody inside! Uh-oh. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. Oop. Oh, the RC thing is coming back around. Do it already. Just blow it up. Do whatever you're gonna do. Well, maybe let's not get these men killed, man. What were we gonna do? Oh, okay, they're fine. We're just setting it on fire. And they say that there was no money in the bag, sir. They say the bags were filled with flyers, sir, for hookers. Did, did Brad Pitt's character make the call? after they'd already gotten out with the money as a distraction technique? Yes, sir, I'm looking at the tape now. Uh-oh. Does it say Bellagio on the vault floor? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, I don't understand. This was all filmed on a set. It was staged. Somebody made a duplicate of my vault. And what we saw on the monitor wasn't actually happening. Uh-huh. I don't understand. What happened to all that money? Oh my God, this line, this line. What happened to all the money? They got out all, oh, oh! They pretended to be the SWAT team? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I did not see that coming, man. Wait, that's amazing. Oh God, Saul, come on. on. They, oh my God. <laughs> The SWAT team was fake. They interfered with the phone call. Oh my God. Just sitting there all casual waiting. Oh my God. The audacity of these men just walking around with their masks up, like not even hiding their faces. Oh, the freshener. We were looking through the SWAT vehicle before with the air freshener hanging there. I thought we were looking out a window, but we were looking out of the SWAT vehicle that they had gotten a hold of somehow. I don't know how they did that. Did he just piece that together? Did he figure out it was the SWAT team? Is he gonna go ask Tess? I feel like, oh, is Tess gonna rat them out? Wait, no way is Danny back here already. He's back here. Wow, he's back here already. What happened, Benedict? Did you get robbed or something? Stop. Oh, that was bold of him to say. Danny, why are you so bold? I'm gonna give you one last chance. Oh, we're showing Tess Benedict's true colors. Do you give up Tess? Oh. What would you say? I would say yes. Oh, because that's all he cares about. She leaving. She's leaving. Show Mr. Ocean the exit and contact the police. I'm sure he's in violation of his parole. Uh-oh. Yeah, he is. I'm shocked he didn't do that sooner. Honestly, I'm shocked he didn't contact the police immediately about the parole thing. Oh! Oh, f Oh. You of all people should know, Terry, in your hotel, there's always someone watching. Oh. <laughs> she has the best lines in this movie, honestly. She's gonna try to go find Danny. Oh, yeah. Oh no, the cops got to him. How long will you be? Oh, three to six months, I guess. Oh, that sucks. Oh, he's just so happy though. That she's like, okay, I'll come back to you. He's so happy. Oh, <laughs> he's like, three to six months, I can do it. Easy, babe. Yeah, like he's a messy dude. He's in a messy line of work, but he f loves her. You know, his love is not fickle. He would do anything for her. And he's just so f sexy. <laughs> not as sexy as Brad though. I love Brad. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Gotta calm down. Oh, now they're all gonna go their separate ways. I can see why a whole franchise was built off of this movie. 
Because like this is a fun group, like such a diverse and fun group. And I could see how you could add more characters to it to make it more fun and quirky and have that nostalgia factor of them coming back together. Three to six months later. Oh, is he going to get out of jail? We're going to see him get out of jail? No way. Is she going to be waiting for him? Oh, he's waiting for him. He's Oh, he's eating again. <laughs> always oh, eating in the tux again he's always in a tux where are they back row silver sedan 10 o'clock stopped and picked up your personal effects hope you don't mind she's in there I'm not sure these belong to me oh oh she just couldn't stay away <laughs> we need to get rusty a girl there's a women's prison down the road <laughs> you said that you sold this she was she was lying I'm a liar Oh, yeah, she lied, too. Thief. <laughs> They're perfect for each other. <laughs> and Rusty's being a little chauffeur. Uh-oh. Oh. So he said, where are they? And then when he said, they're in the back row, silver sedan. So they know they're being watched by those two guys that work for Benedict. This was fun, man. This is a fun movie. All in all, this movie was so much fun. I really enjoyed it a lot. It was definitely just like a fun vibe, suspenseful, but like also really playful, not like too stressful. Things actually didn't go as wrong as I kind of anticipated them to go. It was actually kind of easy for this gang, really smooth. I really expected a lot more to go wrong with what happened with Linus in the building and then Yen's hand getting smushed. I really thought that like that was the beginning of a domino effect of stuff going wrong and it was gonna be really hairy and tough for them to get out. I thought maybe even someone would get arrested and blamed. That didn't end up happening. I mean, Danny went back to jail for breaking his parole, but that was about it. And it actually went so much smoother than I really thought. There were a lot of fun lines in this movie, especially for Tess as a character. Her whole scene with Danny meeting him again for the first time, she just was so quick-witted, so sassy. All of her lines just felt so sharp, and I felt like I really got a great demonstration of who she is with Danny, and then seeing her with Benedict and like not really showing her true colors, being more like meek and reserved and polite and just like nice, and then with Danny just letting the sass and this quick wit come out, even if it's coming from a place of anger and feeling betrayed by him and resenting him. I just think I saw her personality more with him and I, I liked getting that dichotomy from her. A lot of characters had some fun lines like Brad Pitt as well, but I just felt like her lines were such zingers and so fun and especially that last moment of her coming back down in the elevator and getting to say, you should know there's always someone watching in your hotels, getting to repeat that back to him and that being the only thing she says to him as she leaves. I loved that. Everything about this movie was just like a fun vibe. I definitely understand why there's a whole film franchise around these movies and why they keep repeating because it just was fun. The dynamic of the characters was so addictive. They're all so different. They have really great chemistry despite how diverse the group is in both age range and like background and skills. And it was so fun to hypothesize what was gonna happen in the story and how they were gonna pull off the ultimate heist. And I definitely did not predict that they were <laughs> pretending to be SWAT people. And that little reveal of the car air freshener and showing that that's actually the car that we had been watching from previously was so well done. There were just a lot of fun reveals and it was just a good time. The score too, the score really elevated like the funky, fun casino vibe. I also think casinos are just like such a fun set tool stylistically. Like there's a lot of funky, colorful, bright lighting in casinos. There's a lot of overstimulation and sound design that comes out of casinos. And so getting to see all these fun editing transitions that were happening within the casino, especially when um, some characters were walking in the casino, I forget which scene it was, but they kept blurring into the next shot, into the next shot, into the next shot. And it felt like very disorienting. It almost felt like I was drunk walking through the casino and that felt very fun. I really felt like I was immersed in, in Vegas, in the Bellagio. It was just a fun time, a fun little crime heist action movie. I guess it wasn't even that much action, to be honest. It was actually a lot less stressful than I anticipated it being. It was more so just sly and cool and fun. And I really had a good time watching this. And it's funny because I've never been one of those women who's like, ooh, I love George Clooney. Like that's never been me, but I also don't think I've seen a ton of his work. And after seeing this movie, I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. <laughs>
<laughs> like going into this movie, I was like, ooh, Brad Pitt. I'm so excited because I, I love Brad Pitt. But in this movie, I was like, okay, George Clooney can get it. Holy sh**. Like I get it now. <laughs> It was just a really great cast, man. Really diverse cast, really fun. And I'm glad I got to see more of their work. And all in all, I just think that this was a unique watch, really fun for my channel. And I hope y'all enjoyed watching this movie with me. If you did, definitely make sure to give this one a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more stuff like this in the future with all of y'all. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to check out next. And subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.